very unfortunate. Oh, this is definitely a dead end. Oh yeah, we're packing up out of here. Tank is back to good. Yeah, you're back to good. But Cason, uh, oh. Cason has a little bit of a sore throat, so watching him. Cash didn't get anything, so I'm gonna, it's about 8.30 at night, wait for him to pass out and then uh, get, get on the road early. But yeah, we had a nice time this weekend. Yeah, baby. Wow. Wow. But yeah, we got the, the oh, still got a little bit of cough. We did get the floors done. Though. Yeah, you like them? Yeah. Yeah, we went with a whole different color, so. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There you go. It's kind of a grayish mocha. Just something we figured would look timeless. I guess he's not going to sleep anytime soon, but we'll get on the road about 5 a.m. Let's finish Shrek real quick. Yes. 4 a.m. has arrived, or actually 5 a.m., 4.30 I woke up. Uh, what are we going to get today? Probably a Vita Coco. Let's get that. That's a new thing that T-Dubs has been getting. Let's check it out. No more of the Space Coke. No thanks. The birds are chirping. I got some uh, lawn food, thick lawn, three in one, and some uh, weed be gone. Pretty much just gonna do the front yard this year because the boys have made a racetrack out of the backyard, so I don't think that's gonna grow very well. So let's get this thing warmed up and get over to the big truck. Monday, Monday. Oh, Rods, we missed you. Let's get you warmed up. It feels good to be back on the road. Uh, that flu was no joke. That was, I haven't had the body aches and chills like that in a long time. So I don't know where it came from. Don't know where I got it from. Uh, just hit me one day, bam. And that night I was in the shower, like trying to figure out how I was gonna get my body to stop feeling like it was falling apart. And then by Thursday, Friday, I was okay, but Tank got it, so Cason uh, has it now, but he's already on the mend. He, he feels better. It was just one day for him, pretty much the whole day, what, Saturday. Yesterday, he was feeling a little better. And then Cash has a little cough, so he's my oldest. I don't know. He's the one in school, so we're going to be careful with that. She's going to check him this morning when uh, he gets ready to go to school and see how he's feeling, because last night he was... It wasn't shivery, it was no fever, but it has a little cough, so I don't know. But uh, the reason we know it's flu is because Kyle, a little a little man, Tank, he went to the doctor and uh, they tested him for everything and they said, yeah, he's got the flu. So, okay. So that's what ran through the house. I'm praying T-Dub doesn't get it, guys. Pray for her. She's got it. I didn't show you guys this morning. I should have, but when I grabbed my keys off the rack, uh, she has a little tiara and everything for her birthday. It's, birthday's a big deal for, for T-Dub, so. Loves to have a special day for you, not just yourself, but anybody. If you're her friend of hers or her family, she wants to celebrate you and the day you were made. So that is special and awesome. I want to do that for her, but I really pray she's still healthy and can go out and do it. Hopefully, I pray she can. If she is going to get it, she gets it now because her birthday is Thursday and she's supposed to have a dinner plans with her friends on Saturday. So we'll see. All right, but we're back on 85. It is what time is it right now? Let's look at the iPad. It is 5 45 in the morning. I just wanted to get up a little early. My batteries are still weak. Thank you, everybody, for the comments. I was going to go pick some up from the Pete store. Uh, but the Pete store, I don't know why, but they're closed on Saturdays and Sundays. I know this already. I don't know why I thought it'd be different. Um, so they didn't. I couldn't go there. There is a truck pro. Come on, car. Please get over. I got a merge on. You got nobody next to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Puck Truck Pro and Fleet Pride, they had some, but. Uh, they were about 40 bucks more than the way than they were at the Pete store, which is the TRP ones, but I mean, How much do I believe in those batteries? I guess since those are the ones I have right now <laughs> But this truck has sat a lot. This truck is not um, They put into commission all the time, so they do Drain out and get charged again, that kind of stuff, so We'll see, but I want to get some of those. I'm, I'm probably, depending on what happens after this unload if I don't find any loads, if it's the same kind of the, the story on the load boards, I'll get on Truck Smarter. Check out the invite code below for Truck Smarter. Um, I work with them on a new app that kind of brings all these little apps together, which is awesome for time saving. And it also helps you set up with brokers, but enough on that. Um, I might just head over to Hey Guy, because I'll, I'll be 
about 80 miles. I have to go all the way through Atlanta to get there. Or I might just go to exit 160 and get a quick oil change. I just want to change this oil, get some new 1540 in there. Uh, the engine's been brand new. At the same time, I can throw batteries in. So be a little maintenance today. No matter what, we're doing batteries today. So we'll see what the loads look like, and then we'll get our four new batteries. Because this morning, again, I, it, uh, I didn't even try to crank it. I just ran the APU for about 20 minutes. That's why I left so early this morning. Get the, get it, it cranked up just fine, but it was weak, you could tell. It didn't do the whole murk where it stopped and then kept going, because I appreciate all your guys' comments on the starter, um, because that's what happened with my Volvo. My batteries were pretty bad, and I didn't really know if it was the my APU's alternator or my truck's alternator, because sometimes they'd be fine, but it was um, when I ran the APU, it'd be okay. But sometimes it wasn't, and I kept trying to nurse it along for way too long, and it started to hit me. If your truck's starting slowly, like it's, I guess that's really bad on the starter. I didn't know that. So my starter went out. <laughs> uh, after probably three months of changing my batteries, two months, my starter, I thought it was the batteries again, but it was actually the starter going out, and it would just click. Like my old IROC Camaro used to do when it was warm. Those Camaros, man, if you got those cars warm and then you just turned them off sometimes, in the summertime, they, would, they wouldn't start till that solenoid got cool again. Go into there and hit it with a hammer or hit it with a uh, combination wrench. But uh, yeah, that's what the truck, the Volvo would do. It wouldn't start. So, and I actually had a great guy, uh, man, what was his name? Ivan or Evan, out there in, I think, Savannah, Georgia, South Savannah, like in, uh, uh, what's that city that had the paper rolls? But wherever, I forget where that was, Riceboro. Uh, he jumped me off with uh, his Mercedes. Mercedes motor, first time I seen a Mercedes motor. Nicest guy ever, he saw I was struggling. He's like, hey man, can you help me? Gave me a jump, it was awesome, dude. I don't know if you ever watch the channel, man, but I appreciate you, man, because when I was the wit's end trying to figure out how to get my truck started to get going, get home to my family, because that load took me back home. Um, you were there, and you helped me jump start it, and he stayed there for a good 20 minutes trying to figure it out, and then it was the same kind of thing as the Camaro, when it would get like warm or cold, it would, it would work again. So it was just, it got beat up too much, the solenoid on the starter that, that engages it, would just not works half the time, so. Once I new starter now, Volvo, bam, nothing, nothing wrong. Perfect, perfect starts every time. So I have a brand new starter in the truck. I didn't replace it when we did the in frame. I did, I bought it, but I, uh, I figured, hey, that's one part that's it's really hard to get to the third bolt. But actually, that's the reason. Um, so I figured once I start to feel it go weak or bad, then I, I have my backup actually already in the truck. So let's be thinking ahead. But uh, yeah, we'll get batteries done today and we'll try and get an oil change to see where the loads are taking us. I uh, could do an oil change myself, but it still is getting pretty hard to find Rotella to find at least uh, 11 gallons of it, you know? You can find maybe three or four sometimes at a Walmart, but you can't find the whole 11, so that is my dilemma. So that probably, I know a hay guy that have, they have Rotella actually in their giant, I don't know how many gallons, I think it's huge fat, but uh, I can go get it from them, I know, but it'll be a drive through Atlanta, we'll just see what the loads look like. We're gonna go ahead and keep rolling. We only have about another 70 miles to go. We go right past the state line of Georgia, past our lake that we love, Lake Hartwell. And there we are, right off the freeway. So let's get moving. Probably stop at 21, check everything, and then keep going into Georgia. Fingers that reach out. 
And that lake goes all the way down to Savannah, Georgia. It goes, feeds the Savannah River and then goes down to Savannah, Georgia. A little busy this morning at 6.20 a.m. We have an 8 a.m. appointment. We're only 50 miles away, but wanted to be better late, earlier than late because if you've ever watched one of my videos called Walgreens calls the police on me. <laughs> that's a different Walgreens. That's actually a Walgreens that we just passed probably 15 miles ago. It's just, it's not their fault the way they have it set up. It is their fault, but they count your product as it come on, comes off the truck when they should just get it off your truck and count it on their own time, especially if it's a live load. If it's a drop and hook, which means the trailer's there and there's no truck driver there. Well, what are you doing, Dick? All right, he's over here on my left coming at me. Um, sure, I, I guess you can count it on the truck as it comes off, but for a live load, that's a live person, you know? So they, uh, I told them I need my trailer back after about two and a half hours. I told them I could also just leave my trailer here, but they told me I couldn't do that. So I said, all right, then get it off the truck, go. Cool. And they did not. So it ended up being an okay situation, but not all Walgreens are like that. The ones that I'm going, the one I'm going to now, I've actually took the middle child with me and the big child, I believe, cash. And they were done with it an hour and a half, so that was a full product. But this time we just have cardboard, so we shall see. But uh, I'm, gonna, eh, I'm not in the pump right now, I'm off to the side. But I guess I can still pull up, so. Uh, no, I don't wanna block the people's turnaround, so I'm gonna stay right here. And I tell you what, guys, my legs are sore from uh, doing all that flooring. Uh, some things like that, I know a lot of people would just pay to get that done, but for me, it's like, hey, I can get it done on a weekend. It'll look so much better and it'll make T-Dub so much more happy without having the, the dogs in in there. So, uh, some like a self-accomplishment thing for me. Uh, she wants to do the whole upstairs eventually. I won't be doing that. <laughs> I will pay somebody to do that one. She wants the stairs and the upstairs, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and wait till about after summer, till after her birthday and that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, let's get into QT. How you doing? Good, man. So, Good, man. Thank you. Yummy. Hmm. There's a bunch of brand new Kias. Uh, I think they're the Tell You Rides. Uh, maybe the Honda. I don't know what Tell You Ride is, but they're actually made out there in. Um, Georgia, Alabama, state line, I believe. One of them is like Honda and Kia are the same company. And the sun is trying to come up. But yeah, so those are coming out of, yeah, tell you ride. Coming out of Georgia, probably heading up to the east, northeast. Let's get this pretty girl in Georgia. There she is, Lake Hartwell. On a beautiful morning. Pretty soon it's gonna be nice. To up in that water. Uh, my sons keep asking me, Dad, when's the pool gonna open? And we have a great time out here. It's so crazy, the South South Carolina area where we live, it's, you get a full winter and then you get a great summer, so it really is uh, cool to, to live where we live, but it's not too harsh in either direction, so 62 degrees right now. Um, house gets a little chilly in the morning still, but it's not like what you guys are dealing with up there. I, I applaud you guys for the, for the Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois area, along, along Great Lakes and stuff, man, it's cold up there in the northeast too, even the northwest, so, uh, we, we really found a cool place out here in South Carolina to live, but that's the lake we go to right there, if you're new to the channel, Lake Hartwell, it's border South Carolina and Georgia, so, we drop our boat in there a lot during the summer, and my boys are already ready, once we get over this flu, hopefully we build up a good immune system out from this, because, uh, I hate those eggs, those body eggs where you just feel weak, like you can barely clench your fist right and you feel like you have a amount of strength in your arm. I know we've all been there before, but uh, I feel 100% again, but I'm just waiting for my babies to get there and hopefully T-Dubs gets a pass, but we'll see. And I forgot to check the fuel price. <laughs> I was even tell, telling myself in my head, I'm gonna grab it on the way out. And then I was paying attention to my maneuvering. There was a truck coming at me and he actually backed up for me. So. That whole parking area in the back of that QT is really narrow and a lot of guys park on the left side. So uh, if you're coming through and another guy comes in the other way, it wasn't a uh, big rig, it wasn't an 18 wheeler, it was just a uh, box truck kind of thing, but he backed up, so that was cool. But I, in that whole ordeal, I forgot to check the fuel price. So my bad, we still have three quarter tanks on this thing. So I know it's liquid gold right now, it's 
it's crazy. I mean, I've seen some seven dollars out there in uh, California. I'm sure it's a coastal city where it's really isolated, but uh, still, there's there's all right here in our own continent that we could be sourcing. So I don't know the, the play on it. I don't know the there's people above our pay grade that do these kind of things, but it just seems like we we were energy sufficient. I think for a while there, I don't pay a huge amount of attention to it, but now we're not. We're paying pretty heavily for it. So on top of that, rates have kind of plummeted for March. So I don't I don't know what's going on, but praying for the whole world, praying for the whole country. I'm blessed to be alive and breathing, and uh, hopefully we get a nice summer this this year and the world still functioning. Best we can. Everyone's living in harmony. I'm hoping, hoping that the. I know there's a there's a huge past between Ukraine and, and Russia, uh, that the Soviet Union and all that. I know all that kind of stuff, but it just seems in this day and age, like grabbing territory. I, don't, I mean, I, there has to be a play monetarily. There has to be a, a benefit or a downfall that's been going on politically or economically over there, which I, I would imagine is oil or something that state so who knows the whole all the cards in play but something's going on where they feel like they have to bomb just the destruction like you work so hard to build up like build up a, a city and, and live and, and a couple rockets it's gone and, and how long is it going to take to rebuild that back so that's the kind of thing to me it's like man like the mindset of to, to choose destruction has to be something free I don't think he, I don't think that guy's just uh, a crazy man. I don't think he just wants to go bomb things. I think he, there's motive somewhere on both sides or in play over the whole world. So I just pray that, I mean, we're all, we want to have our own, like, uh, our own stature, I guess, as, as countries. And I'm sure some countries want to want to jump higher in, in rank or whatever. I don't know, but it's getting kind of weird. So. We can just do what we can do on our own soil and pray for the best. And that's what we're doing now. We're trying to get some cardboard to Walgreens. And then see where the world takes us after that. But exit 160, that does have a quick loop place. It's not a speed coat. Um, but the biggest thing is if, if I let somebody else do the oil, because I've done all my oil changes on all my, I have never had anybody else change my oil. Um, I've always took it off the filter and put it on myself on my Volvo and this truck. Uh, just because I don't want someone over tightening it, messing it up, tightening it the wrong way, cross threading it. I don't want to mess it up my my uh, drain pan bowl. So that kind of stuff. So if they do do it, I'll just be, I'll hopefully be able to give them some good instruction to be like, please, can I watch you or can I <laughs> can I go down there and just not do the drain plug and take the filter off and drain it, drain the oil into your place and fill it up at your place? Who knows? But we'll see how it goes. But we do need to get this oil changed. I have about a thousand miles left on, on the break in, but I'd rather just get it done sooner than later than, than go over that and uh, get all that pre-assembly lube and everything else that's coming through the engine cleaned out, get some fresh oil in there and hopefully get a good half a million or more miles out of this thing of worry-free rolling. But we do need to get some batteries too. Yeah, at the bypass again this morning. It's about 7, 10 in the morning. Typically, they, they're <clears throat> 8 to 5, kind of heavy into the inspections and stuff. Uh, somebody took out that sun. I don't get how people hit those things. Look at that one sticking out, too. Like you just come in super hot and turn to the last second and take out all the holes. I don't get it. But got a car hauler sleeping there tonight, or maybe he's out of service. I don't know. Who knows? It's the trucking industry. Anything can put you out of service at any moment. I could have an airline just go leaking all of a sudden. Some plastic gets worn out and there's a there's a pinhole and I don't have the right size hose on the trucks. Something like that. We shall exit pretty soon. Check the load boards, see what's going on at Walgreens. And uh, see what Monday holds. The 7th of March. Exit 140, Dry Pond Road. Springs. The huge warehouse that was just built to the left over there. Don't know what they're going to put there, but there's no trucks anywhere. We got a Freightliner dealer right over there. Maybe I'll call them and see what they got for batteries. 
the batteries, guys, you can replace them yourself. It's just simple. Uh, even if you have a ratchet, or even if you have a uh, crescent wrench, like, not that bad. Just be careful not to touch both terminals. Put all the, the wires back where they came from. All that kind of stuff. But yeah, we have Home Goods over here and Walgreens. Oh, it's a stop size. Wonder why everybody's stopping. Because <laughs> there's a stop sign. So we're just turning onto the highway. We've got a container behind that. And we're going right. Whoops, missed that gear. Man, last time they were pretty good here. I mean, nice people, but we'll see. Gas station coming soon. Oh yeah. Speaking of gas, loves at exit four was uh five dollars and 23 cents and qt in jefferson which was like another 10 miles down the way was 430 or five yeah 439 so isn't it crazy it could be 80 cents different that's insane this guy's in a rush he's got somewhere to go there you go buddy yeah walgreens right up here on the right we'll get in there and uh i might i might just fill up at exit 21 just just for the sake of having full tanks. I don't know. I don't think it's going down anytime soon. Alright, we're turning right right here. 600 feet. There it is over on the right. All Green's hiring 20 bucks an hour to start. Okay. Okay, okay, Wall Greens. Stay straight, miss the curb. Yeah, if I didn't stay that straight right there, you're gonna hit the curb no matter what. But we did not. A lot of empty containers to our left. All of them are empty, all the doors are open. To the right, a lot of them are empty too, yeah. Home goods. It's like a drop yard maybe for home goods on the left or maybe for Walgreens, I'm not sure. JB Hunt Bobtail going in there. This guy's backing up up here. What are we doing here, buddy? What are we doing? You miss home goods? I'll go around you on the right or the left, whichever one you prefer. You just, okay, there you go. You just missed the entrance. All right, there you go. Do, do, do. Walgreens. All traffic through gate. There we go. Deliveries, car parking. We are going for shipping and receiving. Giant boulders so people don't cut the, sh the corner short. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you go all the way to the end there, buddy. It's got a blinker or a light out or something. It's blinking pretty quick. We have the sun peeking up. Walgreens to 10. But yeah, 523, 439. This is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. A sign back there that says don't pull up one truck at a time so he pulled up he's in or she's in whatever and we shall see what the intercom says for us home goods is huge though that place is like five times bigger than this one at least and this place isn't small but da -da. a lot of cars pulling in too going around me and using that gate on the right I got a little actual phone. Okay. There you go. There you go. Let's reach out and touch some of it. Asked for a delivery number, but we don't have one. Awesome. So she's like, yeah, um, you're gonna put the truck, or the trailer in 154, and the guy should be here about eight o'clock to unload you. So, okay, perfect. So, I guess they are expecting whatever we're delivering. They're called Gaylords or giant rectangle uh, cardboard boxes. So, even the guy at the produce place that shipped them was like, I don't know why they'd be getting these, but they are. So, cool. We use the phone, and um, I have the heavy smell of like decor, like uh, old musky uh, cologne. That's the, the uh, smell of that phone after the 
Yeah, in front of us probably. It's just spray this morning. Whatever. <laughs> we'll get it. No distribution of literature is prohibited at these premises. Okay. Weapons of any kind are prohibited. All right. Did she say go all the way around for 154? Let's go. There we go. We got a party over here. Um, I was worried for a second because the same buddy that was in front of us backing up uh, was like kind of sitting there at that turn. But he started moving again, so <laughs> he was blocking the road for a little bit. There's a nice red and black Volvo. I like it. And he's turning around. We have another Volvo that has the brush guard kind of bent forward. Uh, he's waiting right there. Looks like we're at the very back end because we're 158 or 154. That brush guard's maybe it's just no, I don't think it's meant to be that way. All good though. It's got some protection. All right, there he is. There's our buddy with the cologne. Smells good, buddy. Smells good. Not so much. Not my type. Not my type. I like whatever T Dubs gets me. We're gonna have a nice, easy uh, back right here because 154 is right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually come in here and get straight next to the old Schneider trailer, and then I'll offset back to the other side and get my trailer over there, kind of blind side. Because 54 is kind of right off of where that Schneider trailer is. Good morning, foliage. Let's check out some Truck Smarter right there in the middle. Let's see what we got for Georgia today on a Monday. Thank you, Kevin Hood, for signing up. Uh, LaGrange on the other side of uh, Atlanta, not bad, 700. Uh, I can't pick it up at 6 in the morning because I'm already here at 8 in the morning. Gainesville, Jacksonville, yeah. Ga Gainesville to Spartanburg, that'd be a good one, but not for 550. That should be at least 859. Not 859, but like 850 or 900. Uh, let's look at that one. Let's place a bid. We'll go lowest bid's fifteen hundred right now. There you go. Someone's ambitious. I like it. Bid high. We'll go eight fifty. No, we'll go nine hundred. Always uh, go higher. See where they come back at. So there we go. That'd be a decent one. Getting back home. Um, I'll get ready for Tuesday. So there we go. Submit it, and we're good. Bid placed. Thanks, Truck Smarter. Does it for you. A couple of. Uh, Brokers I don't use yet. I've just been lazy and haven't signed up with them yet, like Transfix. Uh, their process is a little harder than like uh, LoadSmart's, like the only new one I've been signed up with. XBO, I've never had um, any luck with. Schneider does never move off their price. They don't ever take your offers. They never call you back. So maybe one day they will. Uh, JB Hunt's pretty good about calling you back or, or moving if they need to. J or Uber Freight never really moves in their price unless they just do it by themselves. Knight and Swift, I haven't signed up with them yet, but I should. I uh, am from Phoenix for 18 years, so maybe I should move there. Coyote is really good about responding. I actually had them call me this morning, see what I was trying to do for the week. And I said, I'm just trying to make money, guys. Pay for fuel. But yeah, there's lots of loads out there. Atlanta to Withville, Wyethville, that's a little bit up in the mountains for 45,000 pounds, up to 77 Fancy Gap. Orlando for 1,700, it's a little bit light, should be about 23 to 25. Everything's still a little bit light, but it's coming back around. So we'll look at that Spartanburg one that we were looking at earlier. Um, but yeah, Pendleton, Oklahoma, no. I don't, XPO doesn't ever even call you back. Maybe they'll, they're better nowadays, but when I tried to work with them about a year ago, they never even responded. <laughs> so I don't know about them. Maybe they've changed in the ways. Since then, yeah, Alabama, Texas, Texas, uh, Alachua, no, no, no. Well, Vern, there's a Duncan McDonough, McDonough, McDonough. Uh, that's two drops for 825, yikes, because that's all the way on the other side of Atlanta. You'd have to go through Atlanta to get it, so maybe not, but that's Truck Smarter, guys. Check out that app. It's in the description below. I'm just entering the little code. It's The code changes, so make, make sure you get the most recent video. Well, then, she just came out, and uh, she's like, we don't even need this stuff. I don't know why they keep getting this. I guess they use it to put their extra trash in and then ship it out. I don't know. She, she said they don't, they don't even know why they need it. And I said, I thought the same thing when I picked it up from the produce place. But it was a load that was available, and I took it. So that other load that we were talking about earlier, um, we were checking out those pretty clouds going over. Just a little bit of cardboard left in there. 
Uh, they said, unfortunately, it was not mine. So they came back to $600, but nothing over that. That's for 137 something miles with fuel prices right now being $5 a gallon. Gets me back home, but I'm gonna look for something else. And I think I'm gonna go to Freightliner right now and see what they got for batteries. Keach State Freightliner. Art service and body shop, okay. Guy's got his trailer door open. Lots of oil marks down here. That's where I'm gonna park. No drop trailer parking behind service. Okay, okay. Someone's getting a Vita bug towed over there. I'm gonna hang out here. I don't know what this guy's doing. We'll see what they got for uh, batteries today. All right. Leave the truck running because I don't want to mess the starter too much until we get these batteries replaced. And there's a Circle K over there. So I might do it there. But the batteries are right under here. <clears throat> I just pull off these little nuts. Oh, do I got my wallet? Yeah, I got my wallet. Let's go, Freightliner. What's up, man? I need to grab four batteries if I can. What's that? Okay, so we got some batteries. Um, I guess we should just bring those out of here right now. They have also Rotella T4 right there. But... Not the T5 or 6, but nice people. And these are $83 a piece, and they are 925 cranking amps. The oil change place has 1,000 cranking amps, but for 140 And then, um... Oh, you already got them. Sweet. Well, he actually brought me a full car of batteries. Even better. So, <laughs> let's go out the door backwards so we can use our butt. They got seats here. Uh, all the filters you need. And uh, nice people. Full service apartment, too. There we go. Let's go get these batteries switched out. Okay, now we can shut her off comfortably. No one. We're not straining our starter no more. Let's pop all these off and get our batteries exposed. Much better. Let's get these things loosened. I'm going to have a ratchet to get these off. Uh, pretty secure for this. My Volvo just had like a, a bracket that held on by tension with two things coming up with hooks on them. This has four bolts down the middle. So we'll get those loose, and then we'll get all the terminals loose. And voila. Uh, it's not that hard. All the batteries are pretty much the same terminal. Just make sure they have just two posts sticking up. These things are pretty cool. They do tighten on there, 14 millimeter. And there you go. I don't know where the cap went to this, but it's been gone since I got it. Make sure you just put them back where you got them from. Uh, take a video or take a picture. And they're all intertwined. So let's see what we got now for cranking power. Oh yeah, I like it. Okay, the gate is open, we're out of here. New batteries, I like it. That guy's got a charge box right there. He's doing exactly what we're trying to avoid. But um, the inevitable happen, T-Dubs is sick. So there's a couple loads going down to Florida, different places, a couple going back to Greenville, um, but not till, guys, back, this truck's pretty far out. <laughs> Tight squeeze getting out of here. Uh, I'm not going until a little bit later. So I like, pick it up later, pick it up like at 9 p.m. So I said, yeah. Okay, I've never exited out here. Where do I go? Do I go straight, I guess, through these trucks? I think so. Yeah, I gotta go through here. Ah. Uh, and they got them lined up around here. Looks like that's the way to go. I uh, hope it's not a dead end. I think it is got to have a driveway out there to the exit. All right, well, anyways, yeah, I'm going to go home and just help T-Dubs uh, deal with the boys because two of the boys, the youngest, are feeling good and feeling better again. The oldest is getting a little sore throat, so it might be T-Dubs and the oldest that are going through it now, which is very unfortunate. Oh, this is definitely a dead end. Oh, yeah. We're backing up out of here. Oh, yeah. And it had an exit thing saying right this way. Well... Come to a freight ladder, don't go straight down the hill. So yeah, don't go down the road that typically should be the exit with the painting on the ground that says exit. It's not the way, not the ticket. Uh, trailer drop, no, we're not trying to go there either. Okay, okay. Uh, no, we're gonna go all the way around if it lets us. You guys got to tour some freight liners. There you go. Service bay is back here. Okay. The 
Yeah, we're gonna head home, help D-Dubs out. Oh, they got a lot of buses in there, all kinds of stuff. Uh, help T-Dubs out a little bit. A little body shop, yeah, there you go. Repairing everything, I like it. FedEx trucks, all whatever you want, buses. I got it all. Peach State Freightliner. But um, yeah, so I'm rambling on again. Can I make this turn? Yes, I can. That's a cool little, uh, look like, oh, I think it's a body work big time too. Like a big hit to the front of it, dang it. But I'm gonna go get an oil change on the way. Sorry, I keep rambling. Looking at everything around me. Backing up from a uh, dead end. I guess if you need body work, this is the place to come. You don't see too many body work places. Bunch of hoods and crates over there. There you go. Cascadia hoods. And then that's probably the paint booth right there. Yeah. There you go. Lyman machines, everything. Alright, let's stop rambling. Let's get the oil change. It's $302, they said, just for the oil and the filter. Oil's about 20, 22 bucks typically, just for the T4. Um, a gallon, I need 11 gallons, so. If I did it myself, I'd still be paying about 280 with the filter being about 40, 50 bucks. 35 bucks if you buy in bulk. So, yeah. All right, exit this way. So, if you come through here, you gotta wrap around the whole place. We're gonna oil change, park this thing, look for a load tomorrow, but I need to help T Dubs because the first day is pretty hard um, with this sickness. So, I'll take care of the boys for her, and then we'll get back to work tomorrow after uh, she's feeling decent, hopefully. Six degrees is showing. I don't know, it feels a little cooler now with the breeze, but maybe it is that that warm. It's definitely uh, nice out. 76. 521 a gallon. My goodness. Yikes, might be time to just park the truck till. Uh, okay, now can I make it? Uh, yeah, it looks like I can still get into their bay if I turn right at the street. I was going to go through the Petro, um, but it looks like I can just come around the backside. Yep, right where that red truck's going, right where that Landstar's going. I think there's actually a Landstar terminal right here. Take this nice and wide. We got another truck coming out. I hope Landstar doesn't back me up for waiting a bit. I want to get back to t up as soon as I can, so take the load off of her with three crazy boys and her not feeling good. She said her head's pounding. So let's pray she gets through that quickly. Maybe two, three days max. Evans Mobile Repair. Hey, I need to get this oil changed out. It's a little early on it, but I just want the peace of mind. All right, he took that bay. Let's see if they wave me to the second bay. I don't know. Do, do, do. It looks like it's open. I'm gonna pull in it, and if they tell me to move, I'll move. Uh, I don't know why he pulled behind the dump truck. I'm just gonna pull in there. Even though they're like unloading boxes on a floor pallet. But Okay, 
okay. Oil change time. Talking to myself on my phone out here because I do YouTube, so I just don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> everyone does too. Check out this live feed for the world change. Everybody says. The turbo is singing, and we have brand new oil flowing through it all, which is awesome. Get you get peace of mind. Uh, get that first. The reason you have to do an oil change so quickly if you don't know much about motors or trucking or cars or anything is all the stuff you use to kind of pre-assemble the all the valve train and all that um you want to get that out of there um clean it all up and get some fresh oil in there pretty quickly so it doesn't dilute the uh viscosity of it and all that kind of stuff keep it clean so that way station is closed today and we're going to head back to t-dubs we have about 40 miles go over the lake and then See if she wants some soup from anywhere. Go home and wrestle her little babies. We're gonna take care of Cash too. Cash had a little cough last night going to sleep almost like I said earlier. So hopefully he's not feeling too bad today. But him and T Dubs are probably in the same boat. So he stayed home from school. Don't want to spread it to everybody else at school. And I wish he would have gotten. I don't wish he would have got it earlier. I wish he would have gotten not at all. But would have been cool if he got it earlier so he could have been okay for school because he loves going to school. I'm sure he's not minding the rest at home. He just hates the cough. There's our lake, a little bit of our lake right to the right. Let's keep rolling. We'll get home and uh, see what the status of the house is. Okay, we'll get some air in the tanks and uh, see if T-Dubs wants any soup or anything. Still got some air in there from this morning. There we go. All right, let's get over. See what these babies are doing. T dubs. from this spot. <laughs> are you down and out? I'm down and dubs out. Dubs is out, guys. She's on Theraflu or something. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like something else. Hey, the house is still spotless. Thank you. <laughs> Except for those fruity pebbles. Ah. With no belts. I want, I'm I want cereal with no belts. How come your kids are always have no shoes on? Oh, because they just do what they want? Cool. Well, God bless you guys. Uh, couple loads today but we'll just look for something tomorrow but i'm gonna corral these two crazies who are i think herd immune right now for a little bit that one's got shoes on at least one out of two ain't bad and uh, we'll look for a load tomorrow but get teed up some rest today and so you guys pray for her, and uh, we'll see her again soon god bless you we're gonna Whoa. mow the lawn because we're gonna do our seating uh, i don't know if we're allowed to i don't think we're allowed to drive on this yet i didn't know they did this today don't touch one second let me dad i check it all right, we got new roads. Looking nice. Uh, no, that's pretty hard. I think it's already done. I just want to put tracks in it, you know? I'm pretty sure they steamrolled it. I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Is it all done? Yeah, they got to do the other side now, but they're starting. It's all done? Yeah, so let's get some fuel and uh, that's what the starting to rain a little bit. So it's perfect time because it's only go, go, go. 40% chance of rain today and tomorrow, so it won't wash away the seeds. You think about that stuff when you reseed. We're going this way. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. We're good. New roads, baby. All right, guys. God bless you.